Every year, hundreds of thousands of young people are graduating from university, but only a small section of them get jobs right away. The latest labor force survey says the country has 6 crore 35 lakh young people in the workforce, but among them, 6 crore 8 lakh are employed. That means the number of unemployed youths is at least 27 lakh. To create economic opportunities for these fresh graduates, UNDP commenced Future Nation Initiative, an upskilling program. Gramin Phone, Bangladesh Investment Development Authority, National Skills Development Authority, and Bangladesh High Tech Park Authority also joined in this initiative. There were several private sectors and academia partners as well. On 7th August, the program was launched at a hotel in the capital, titled Launching Ceremony of Graduate Employment in the Private Sector Program. Speakers said 10 to 55 lakh people in the country will be at risk of losing jobs due to the fourth industrial revolution. However, new opportunities will emerge for almost 1 crore job seekers. Future Nation looks forward to preparing young generations to grab these opportunities. The aim is to train around 10 lakh young graduates to compete in the job market by next year. This tripartite partnership between the government, UNDP and the private sector has been designed to strengthen the ecosystem to generate economic opportunities for millions of young people by harnessing industry experts for investment development, workforce capability development and all things cells that will help to durably connect young people to productive and dignified professional careers. It is extremely important in this changing world the capabilities like AI, robotics, microchip design, cyber security, the basic ICT skills. If we are not having those skills, if we are not having those human capital, capital development initiatives, it's not going to happen. I think the future nation program is integrated there. The synergy of pri public-private development partner Endeavor certainly creates a strong platform to bridge the gap between the demand of industries and the supply from the job market. Future Nation being the first of its kind in the coalition of the government, private and development sector leaders is taking us one step forward towards forming such effective partnership and collaboration. <laughs> UNDP Strategic Advisor Radwan Muzib Siddiq and Head of Telenor Asia Jorgen C. Arendt Rostrup sent video messages conveying best wishes for the initiative. They also explained why this initiative is crucial in a country like Bangladesh. The aim of Future Nation is to look at best practice from around the world and then tailor the experiences from other countries to try and make this transition from education to employment, a smooth one for Bangladeshi youth and graduates. I believe Future Nation can be a game changer in the way that we address the challenge of education to employment. In its totality, the Future Nation program is a landmark program for many reasons. Uh, for me personally, it is a super example of how far you can go when you bring government, private sector, and development sector partners together. State Minister for ICT Division, Junai Ahmed Pollock said, due to the fourth industrial revolution, skill requirement is changing worldwide, which will undoubtedly affect Bangladesh as well. A training center, 4IR, will be open to help our young generations become compatible with the changing dynamics. I'm really happy to announce that we are in discussion. Probably, hopefully, by December, we'll be able to establish Center for 4IR in partnership with World Economic Forum in Bangladesh under the leadership of ICT advisor. 
private industry and investment advisor to the Honorable Prime Minister, Salman F. Rahman said, Agriculture, industrial and service sectors have an acute shortage of skilled labor forces. Skilled professionals like doctors and engineers are suffering far less from unemployment than graduates from general disciplines. The Honorable Advisor thanked BIDA, UNDP and Grameen Phone for making this journey impactful and also appreciate all the academia and private sector employers for joining this much needed platform. The people who do this uh, general graduation, they don't do career planning. And that is why I think what is happening today that skilling this, providing skills to this category of people, I think is the most important uh, aspect on which I think I would like to really congratulate uh, future nations for uh, doing this for the graduate uh, program. So that is a big gap which is being uh, met. Executive Chairman of Bangladesh Investment Development Authority, Shirajul Islam said, many foreign employees work in our national industries. They extend their work permit every year. If the country had enough skilled people, the industries could have filled those positions with local employees. He expressed the hope that this initiative by Future Nation will work towards creating skilled human resources for the industries in the coming years. The industry they are suffering from skilled people in the mid-level. We are allowing uh, people to come to Bangladesh and to work in the industry, but this should not be allowed to go for long. We need to have our own people uh, skilled enough to run our own industries. Later, director and scientist of CHRF Dr. Shejuti Shaha hosted a panel dialogue with several experts from different sectors. They talked about the requirement and the prospect of future nation which will enable millions of Bangladeshi youth for creating economic opportunities for themselves and contribute to the national growth and development. The idea really is the fact that youth workforce will be required to have the right skill set um, and that will be provided by this program and this skill set can be converted into well-paid jobs and these jobs will be sustainable and provide income for years to come. In each and every Upozila, ICD division is going to establish one D set center, digital service employment and training center. Our young people, they need not move to the event district for their up skills and reskill. You'll have disparate data and you need to make sense out of it. I think that's an amazing skill that uh, the next generation youth really need to adopt and, and really get it. I think that's a critical one that they need to actually bring out. We need to dissect data from the perspectives of different stakeholders and we need a data platform. So movement from, the first point that I want to make is movement from macro data to micro data. Do an MRI of the entire education system. So we need to do an MRI of the school, not just in Dhaka, but to the uh, remote area and the university. We are talking about tertiary university students, but what is in students as an input, what I receive, uh, there are diverse experiences. We have data, we have resources, we have also problems that we would very much want to be solved where uh, students and talents that are not yet ready to go out in the workforce can be part of, of, the, of the solution. We have the demographic dividend. If we do not cultivate or if we do not utilize this demographic dividend today, we will struggle. We'll have to struggle. Whether it's a male or female, so if we can, our entrepreneurs, can invest in producing low-cost household appliances. This will really help the graduates to get more employment. Deputy Resident Representative of UNDP, Van Nguyen, laid out the background and plans regarding Future Nation and asked for support from everyone to make the initiative a success. I wish the Future Nation every success so that it can deliver its 
very ambitious agenda to support, to bring employment to young people and also to support the small and medium entrepreneurs in their sustainable journey. Mm -hmm.